So hello everyone, I'm Rafael from the Explosion and see another Java challenge about streams. So I'm gonna share my screen and let, let's see here. Can you see my screen? Yes. Okay. So I'm gonna give you a brief about the challenge and then I'm gonna give you some time to answer that. So we are initializing array list with uh, list of method from Java 9. Um, and then running through a string with a parallel method and then filtering it. Um, and here is basically the same thing, but uh, we are using a for each method. So I ask you uh, what's what you think is going to be the output. So take your time. OK, then let's see the answer. Ooh, yeah. Someone is right. <laughs> yeah, Rinaldo is right, actually. Congratulations, Rinaldo. Um, so now I need to, yeah. to learn. The trick is the parallel method. So there are two ways to um, manipulate a stream. So if we want to manipulate a stream in a concurrent way, uh, we can use the parallel method. So um, when we use the parallel method and we use the for each ordered, um, the output is going to be exactly the same here. So um, uh, actually, yeah, it's going to be 10, 11. Yes, yeah, it's, it's going to be actually the same. It's because we filtered here. Um, so let's. Let's see here. Uh, it's going to be parallel. And then we ask if the greater than 10. So it's going to remove 10. Um, and then it's going to get just 15, 11, 20, and 22. And it's going to map just put a comma on the output. And then it's going to show all of those um, Simpson object. Um, and the trick here is that uh, when we use the for each ordered, the elements, they come in the order that was created here. So that's, that's the, um, that's, that's the, the reason we use this method. So if we want to get in the way that was encountered, the for each ordered will just print all the elements like this. But if we use the parallel method without for each order, it's going to come in any order. So uh, the second print will be always random. So there's no way to um, predict that. Let's execute it again. can see that uh, these outputs is random. So just um, be careful when you use the parallel method because it will get the, the list um, unordered. So just be careful with that. Do you have any questions? No, man. That's super cool. At least I I I, I made a, a good step. I, now I'm random right. <laughs> right. Random what? Sorry. Right, because sometime will be the, the the same results as the the above. So maybe once I will be right on a random way, I will be right. <laughs> oh yes, yes. <laughs> But it's super cool. Now, okay. now I know the, the for each other that you teach us uh, on a previous one and now the parallel. So thanks. Yeah, so this is useful because it's uh, it would bring more performance for your software. 
So uh, if you need to do a heavy uh, process in your application, you can use the parallel method. OK. OK, so that's it for today. I'm going to just stop sharing. OK, guys, so this was the Java challenge of today. And if you liked the video, just give me a like because it will help me out to create more videos. And uh, if you want to practice and improve your Java skills, you go to nobugsproject.com. And then you go to a section called Java Dev Gym. And then you take the challenge and improve your Java skills. Watching videos won't do you much. You have to practice, you have to do your code, you have to always um, running your own tests. So that's it. So see you in the next week.